Won't you? Get out! And you've been Get asking out. for this! Hey, yo! You'll do as you're told, sunshine. Because if you don't, I'll tell the old Bill who sniffed smack and made himself sick. And if they don't see it to you, I'll come after you. And I'll break your fingers and I'll crush your toes. And that's just the starters, right? Hey, what you doing in here? Just sheltering. You never give me a bleeding heart attack crouching in there. Look, I just need somewhere to kip. Well, you can't kip in here. I've got to put me tools in there. Oh. Yeah, you're right, mate. I felt better. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. Don't you recognise me? No. Should I? Yeah. It's Nick. Cotton. We used to be mates. Once upon a time, remember? Five or a do. Anyway, that was a long time ago. It's been a hard time since then. Yeah, I've heard how hard. You don't know. Look, I don't want to know. You're not wanted around here, so come on, get out. Come on, just a few quid. See me on my way, eh? Bus fare, bite the week. Didn't you hear me? I've got nothing Mark. for you. Mark! That's him ripping you about, son, have you? Ricky? Yeah, I was trying to persuade him to skive off a college the other day. Helped me out down on the car, look. But, uh, I thought I succeeded, but apparently not. So you ain't seen him? No, no, sorry. You all right, sir? Yeah, yeah, fine. Anyway, I'm glad to see someone's boys doing some work. All right, uh, all right, sir. All right, get out there, he's gone. Well, she's, uh, done it now with the police. One slip they might be card for life. Shut it, can't you? I suppose you didn't think about that when you helped her. And helping's illegal and all, ain't it? You're enjoying it, aren't you, you scumbag? Mark. You keep your sugar. I've never seen too much macaroni in my life. See it, Doc. Don't know, it's Nick who knows. No, you don't, sunshine. It's too late. I've done it. Told the old Bill. Let them sort it out. You told the Bill about my shell? GBH and all. Right, if he family, ain't you? Uh, uh, I tell you what, she had Clyde in your shed on the allotment, and him, he drove your car for him. Mark! All she asked me to do was drive it down here to the allotment. How could you be so stupid? Nah, it's him, the ruddy grass. What's right. no, block no, off? No, you duck him. This yeah. Bill didn't take the van, eh? Come on. Mark! Don't you run along and all. You're gonna miss all the action. I say, you two boys want a cup of tea? Oh my lord, what's happened? Oh, Mark, Mark, do something. What's going on here? They're taking my things. They're doing what? Back off, Fowler. It's nothing to do with you. They're stealing my things. Shut it, fat man. They've taken Nigel. My stereo. Give him his stereo back. Just don't get involved. Just, Just give him his stereo him. back. And anything else you've taken of his, all right? Come on! Chuck these two out. Still came with knives, I Cotton. I think you'd better put it down. Now you give Nigel back his things. Then you and your mate, you sting your off, all right? Oh, Cotton. What? I have to catch you playing with knives again, or you use not a summon, I'll use it on you. And that's a promise, all right? Nice one. See you, Nick. I won't forget this, Fowler. Well, that's good. Because it means you might not do it again. Oh, Nick. The keys. We didn't know how long you've gone for. Ah. They told me you were still alive. How are you, Mark? Doesn't do me good this time. Taught me a few things, got me back on track. I've got money now, and I've got wheels. Oh, he's got a lovely car. You should see it, Mark. And I've got my boy, of course. Yes, and Ashley's getting on ever so much better with Martin this time. And Nick, oh, he has been good with him. How about I drive over to that new supermarket, get some things in for dinner? My treat. I'll see you later, maybe, for a drink. I'll check my diary. I don't know what your game is this time, but I know for a fact you're not moving to Scotland, after all. Who can you bleed dry there? You can think what you like. I know Dot's having a rough time, which is why I'm prepared to play the best mates act for her. You always were the golden boy. Listen, you get out of my mum's house before she gets back. And whatever you do, you stay away from mine. Is that clear? Oh, ain't that nice. Seeing me two favourite boys getting on so well. If you think they're burgling it, you're wasting your time. It's empty. Oh, yeah. Must be nice for you and Pauline. 
Don't suppose you had a family day out in court since Arthur got sent down? Here. What are you doing back? Where's the old woman? Well, she's not here. <laughs> she's run out on you. I haven't got time for your games. You used to have a lot of time for me. What happened? Religious conversion. Well, Ma's not here, see? So come on. Tell me. How's your manager to lose her? She got into a bit of a state at a court. Yeah, she's always getting into a bit of a state about something. Constantly whittering on about Ethel. People then bury her at the same time and have done with it. You couldn't give her monkeys about that, could you? That ain't true. Ain't you noticed? We won't be happy family again. For how long this time? Till you can use her some more. Till you fleece her of everything she's got. I'm a changed man. You should know about all that. Deep down, even your own mother doesn't believe that. She wouldn't even trust you to pay the rent on this place. She had to give it to me. <laughs> of course she did. Everyone trusts Mark Fowler. He's come such a long way. That's why you ain't having me around, innit? Because I'm the only one that remembers what a thieving little Nazi you used to be. Where's your black shirt now? Keep it in a tin under your bed, along with the rest of your past. Forgot about all those little jobs we used to do. All the fun we had mugging little old ladies. You're a poison cotton. You were then, and you are now. Uh, I don't remember you complaining when it came to sharing out the cash or taking a few happy pills on account. No loyalty, that's your problem. You know nothing about loyalty. You ruined my life for years. You sell your old mother for a packet of fags. Dad, if I get that much for her. I just hope your precious little son knows what he's in for. You leave Ashley out of this. Sooner or later, you're going to step all over him as well, aren't you? Anything to get what you want. <sighs> you're such a martyr, ain't you? Saint Mark. So you get along with a bug, the HIV, a halo with every virus. You're more sanctimonious than my old ma. She can't wait to get to heaven either. <laughs> Heaven's a place you'll never end up. Love working the market this time of year. Yeah, I know what you mean. The bars, the frostbite, the chillblains. When you put it like that, being a cat woman suits me fine. So, do you fancy a coffee with my wages of sin? Let really me do with a chat. Sorry. All right, hold your horses. Come in, Mark. Yeah, you know, most of the scum will do around here. Have the good sense to keep their heads down. Oh, here we go. Don't waste your breath lying to me. Oh, I don't intend to. So when exactly did you become Saint Mark? Does it come with the AIDS? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? Or is it just another boring, fowler character trait? Get a life, Cotton. Well, like you, flogging apples and pears on a tatty old street market. Well, it's better than yours, screwing up kids' lives. Proud of your little business venture, are you? I can't complain. Makes a tidy profit. Now, if you're quite finished, I want to get on with my DIY. You're at the Spurs' chances of acquiring some silverware this year. Would have got me better in Orient, say. Eh? Yeah, support the man and boy. I ain't gonna change now. Home. Now. Why? What'll I do? Martin, I won't tell you again. Home. I was going anyway. He's all right, you're broke. The original rebel without a clue. You keep away from him. Or you'll do what? You just try me. Yeah, right. We can do bleed on me. You're not frightened, are you, Nick? No, I've got better things to do than fight a cripple. Don't push me, Monk! son! Come your way! Ah! This isn't over. That's too right, it ain't. You're gonna live to regret this day. Nick? What? Can I get you a drink? What for? Well, it's New Year and I'm doing around. Miss out if you like. No skin off my nose. Huh. Same again. One for yourself, sweetheart. Cheers. Seen Martin today? What, my brother Martin? Well, of course I have. Why? Well, no reason, just uh, Ashley said he wasn't at the party last night. And you know perfectly well why it wasn't there, don't you? Yeah. Him and Jamie had a fall on that. They wouldn't ask him for their party. Mm. No, we just got a couple of cans in, had a quiet night in front of the telly. Then he crashed out on the sofa. So, uh, what's this all about, then? Well, it's not about anything, really. New Year's resolution, that's all. Why? You got a problem with it? Nah. <laughs> Cheers, Nick. Here's to old Lang Syne. Here we go. All right, I'll give in. So what's your game? Have I got one, Nick? Don't give me all that, Mark. You're a self-righteous little git. Always have been, always will be. If you're gonna start on them... No, man. no, 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 I'm not, mate. Well, I can't talk, can I? Used to be worse than you. See, that's what really gets up my nose. 
You can't kid a kidder. And you think you can. And it's like the old saying, there's no virgin like a reformed tart, eh? <laughs> Maybe you're right. Too right, I'm right. I'm off for a jimmy. I took you feeling in that tobacconist's. <laughs> that was terrible. I was only about seven. Mm. The only reason I took you along was because you was little enough to crawl in through that back window. Yeah, that's right. It was fags for you and toffees for me. It's blown into my memory, I can tell you. Mm. And what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> the only stuffed a whole jar of toffees up your jumper. Yeah, and I got stuck in the window coming out, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> that cobber can keep a straight face when he finds you. Yeah, well, my mum didn't laugh about it when he took me home. Well, that was your own fault, wasn't it? Should have been a better liar. Your trouble is, you can have a sweet totty way out of a paper bag. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> of course, I'll have to get AIDS first to make it really work. Hey, cheers for the drink, Mark. Hey, where are you going? Home. Yeah, going home. You don't actually get to see you like this, do you? Oh, <laughs> good point. Let's go for a walk. Hey, hey uh, dead funny that. You're getting AIDS. Is it? It's brilliant. Cos, uh, it should have been me. Yeah, after all I got up to. But it was like, you were standing in front of me when God started chucking his thunderbolts. Zap! Mark Fowler, the human shield. Oh, whoops. Steady. Yeah. Hey, uh, were you a virgin when you got AIDS? No. Of course you was. You had to be. Why? Oh. It's all got a balance, ain't it? I mean, you've got all the bad things I should have had, and I've got all the good things you should have had. I'm one with a son, ain't I? It's like, uh, you had a gay's first time out, so it's to stop you having kids. <laughs> You're my whipping boy, father. That's what you put on this earth for. Hey, cheer up. That means I need you. As long as you're standing there in front of me to take the flak, I can do anything I want. Do you remember the last time we went up there? No. I didn't take the rap for you that day, did I? I don't remember. Yeah, you do. We were eight and you were nearly twelve. You made us climb all the way up there. Well, you were the one who couldn't come down. Because you were too scared. Huh. Don't remember. And Dot's standing down here yelling blue murder at you. You're a wicked, wicked boy, Nick Cotton. Ah. <laughs> don't remember. I don't remember. I don't know what you were more scared of. Being up there or coming down to face your ma. Liar. I'm scared of nothing. So why'd you go and pee your pants then? You shut up or I'll have you. He's coming to get you. Ah! Jeez. Get them out of here. They stink. Still at large, then. Like anyone to believe you. Look, I'm sorry this happened. I didn't mean for you to fall. Pleading ain't gonna get you off the hook. I'm still gonna come looking for you. You don't get it, do you? You touch one fowler, you touch us all. I ain't scared of you. Listen to me, you sick mess. I wasn't trying to kill you, but I wish I had. Would have been better for everyone. But if there is a next time, I'll finish the job. Make sure there isn't. I'm gonna get you. One word. How? That's better, ain't it? Much. Now, would anyone like a cup of tea? Oh, yeah, I'm parched after all that. Go mm. through then, Mark. I'm fine. Ashley? There's a hot bit of that cake to go down, Will. <sighs> Enjoying this, ain't you? After what you did. A little. I feel pretty safe, eh? No one can get at you. All squeaky clean. Just how you like it, ain't it? If it means I'm worried about what might happen to me because of the other night, then yeah, I feel pretty safe. You sure about that? 
You don't scare me, Nick. I know that. Huh. Just look at you. All oh, smug. Just because the police believed you. You think you got away with it? You owe me, Fowler. Whatever you say, Nick. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a stool to close. You think you're smarter than me, don't you? I think most of the fruit of my stool are smarter than you. You will. Let's hope you hang on to that sense of humour. Meaning? Meaning what goes on between us. It's got nothing to do with the police. It don't matter what they think happened up there on that bridge. We know what happens. And that's all that matters. Right, Nick. Yeah, so, just remember, next time you get on that nice new bike of yours, or when you're walking down the road and you hear a bus or a truck coming, or when you're waiting for the tube, just because I can't get around, don't mean I can't get around. And even if you're on your guard, do you think your ma will be? Or little Martin? If anything happens to them. What? You'll blame me. But I'm in a wheelchair. How could I hurt anyone? I told you. You owe me. Just watch me collect. Hi, Ben. <laughs> oh, what a surprise. A bunch of greats should have done, Mark. I don't suppose you know how this ended up outside my house, do you? I ain't got a clue, mate. No? You lost any bricks lately? Ooh. Well, maybe someone's trying to scare you, Mark. Ain't my style. When I set the score, it's game over. Then you're slipping, aren't you? <sighs> Me? I ain't been out of this flat. No need. Not when you've got Ashley to do your dirty work for you. <laughs> don't know what you're talking about. Oh. Well, he's gone now, hasn't he? That was a bit sudden. Don't tell me he suddenly realises that ain't the hero he thought he was. There's hope for the boy yet. I'm not going to fight you, Nick. Wouldn't exactly be fair at the moment, would it? I'll be over here in no time. And it'll be you and me, face to face. Yeah, well, I won't hold my breath. Oh. What are you doing here? Just visiting, Doc. Any news about Ashley? Oh, yeah. He was around his mother's all the time. Oh, I'm ever so relieved. Oh, well, that's great. But well, I must get back. Look after yourself, Nick. The winning number is... Three, two, nine. That's me. Oh, Good time was had by all. <laughs> roll up, roll up, have a look at the cripple. Only ten pence a stare. Right, that's it. Come on, we're off. Oh, no, don't go. Everybody's leaving. Well, let them go. We've done our bit, Doc. Come on, Mark. Yeah. Go. Mark's done his bit. Put me in this chair. Go on, Pauline, take your little murderer out. Oh, don't start that again, Nick. Now, listen here, Nick Cotton. I've had enough of you for one night. Everyone's worked their guts off all night to make this evening work for you. And what have you done? Just sit there and sneer. You're nothing but an ungrateful little wretch. You want a speech? I'll give you gratitude. I'd like to thank everyone from the heart of my bottom for coming here tonight. It's been a real pleasure to be talked down to and stared at. But most of all, I'd like to thank the man who made it all possible. The man who put me in this chair in the first place. Mark Fowler. Oh, Doc. Doc, get him out of here, please, before I do something that I shouldn't. And listen here, you. Just remember, Mark Fowler's worth ten of you! Leave it, Peggy. He's not worth it. Don't you want to make me Mark, help him! I'll kill you, Nick! I'll kill you! Congratulations are in order, then. Oh, cheers, mate. Shame about poor old Mark, though, eh? What, do you know about it and all, then? Yeah, of course I do. It's all around the square, ain't it? Came as a shock to me, I can tell him. Yeah, me and all. Just as well, me and Lynn getting married, I suppose. Why does that mean? Well, I'd have to move out, won't I? Couldn't put up the smell of all them stinking nappies. I reckon I ought to buy you two a drink. There's going to be a new arrival. Nick, leave him. Yeah, he's ain't messed up the lead in your pencil, then. Look, I don't know what it is you think you know. But whatever it is, we don't want to hear it. Have a little fowler. Ain't something to celebrate, then. Shut up. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? 
I come over here and offer to buy him a drink, and he tell me to shut up. It's supposed to be an happy event, I thought. Wet the baby's head. It must be hard, though. Wonder if the kiddie's got the bug and all, eh? It's gonna be a long nine months, ain't it? A lot of waiting. Come on, Mark, let's get out of here. Oh, look at her. Even she's ashamed of you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got nothing to be ashamed of. Just because some people choose to keep their business private doesn't mean to say there's anything to hide. My son and his girlfriend are expecting a baby and we're over the moon about it. Now, posh off. Well, now you two have got what you wanted, you'd better get on with it. There you are. Now, do you remember me telling you not to show me up in front of my boy again? Do you? Calling lover boy, are we? Well, go on in. Dial it. It's fine by me. Get out my way. No, I've been waiting for this. You! You! <laughs> I'm fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. You touch her again. I'll kill you. Where did my boy go? Sorry, I wasn't looking. I don't suppose you've seen Ashley? No. That's it then. He's gone. Oh? I thought it was all happy families now. Nah, you saw that, didn't you? Well, I might have put him straight on a few things, yeah. Not for the first time, neither. That, wait. Oh, are you, um, you see Arthur going into town? Yeah, if you are. Might as well. What really happened? We went in there, haven't I? Found a came gunning at me on his motorbike. The man jumped out of the way to kill me. That's why his bike and his face is all messed up. What? Then you're going to let him get away with that? Oh, the way he drives it. I'll sort himself out sooner or later. You did, fella! Nick! You murdered my son! You think I'm gonna let you get away with it? Oh, come on, you're going too far, it's over! It ain't even started! And this time, I've got nothing to lose! time you're going away. That's it. Call the old Bill. Tell him what you did. I didn't do anything. I'm burying my son tomorrow. And it's your fault he's dead. What is your problem? It's your fault. I don't know what you mean. You tried to kill me. Then went one better with Ashley. Yeah, you're right. I tried to kill you. You pumped my kid brother full of drugs. And as for Ashley, it may have been my bike, but that's all. You killed him. You stupid. It was your fault. You think my bike? How could that be my fault? Because you should have gotten it first, you stupid fool. You are. 
you they should be burying! What are you on about? You did it, didn't you? That's what all this is about. You did something on my bike. You tried to get me and got Ashley instead. You stupid little... Mark? It should have been you! Mark, what's going on? It's okay. Why are you doing this? Leave it. Let's go in. What about him? Him. He's done himself more damage than I ever could. Shh. <sighs> 